This next game up was a lower bracket game in the Eternal Damage Tournament between Rapaza and Turbot. For Rapaza, we had Lightness, Bugs, Kiraj, who was using the name JRK, Wilco, Vieri, and Laz. For Turbot, we had Swan Idiots, Tony, Olden San, Leku, and Raspberry. Uh, Critty was also playing, but he was using the name Tomb. The map choices for this one were Turbot, who selected uh, Supply, and Rapaza, who selected Gold Rush. Enjoy the game. Okay, so we are going to kick things off on Supply, and I believe this is Turbot's map choice, and they are attacking first. So they are attacking on their own choice. Olden Sand's ready, look. Here's the Panzer. We're going to check bugs on this middle area off the start. He's going to get that on that early artillery. Panzer's going to come in from Olden, it is going to clear out, but the aggression from Ripaza, they're going to push in towards the cave. Two, double frag comes out from Vieri, and it does look like they're going to be able to hold off that first spawn. They also get their hands on the CP. RT's going to do the job. Perfectly timed by Bucks. Allow his team to get back into position on that lower area. Here comes the push. We have Raspberry, of course, on the SMG. That's Tony's the rifleman. How much was done that spawn? Progress. Kill out. Progress. Kill out. Aggression from Vieri again. He is going to walk on his teammate's mine. And there are some grenades dropped into that lower area. Bugs is doing some good work with these artilleries, at least covering it. Tomb, I think, actually got one out on full spawn. I'm not sure. I heard a gib sound. Might have been his own body. Holden Sand in the up top position. Maybe needs some support. He's going to wait, actually, for the spawn time. He's going to jump in. Four frags, though, coming for Turbo. And he's just going to push up top. He might be able to push in for the flag, but I think the timing's not great for the, for the allied spawn. The, sorry, for the Axis spawn. But Swanee is going to get that plant down. Nearly, nearly the save from Wilco. But I think Wilco's out on full. And Laz is going to have the opportunity to go for this defuse. And will we see the Panzer come in this time? They, he's baiting it. J JRK is baiting it. It's not happening. Laz is going to get that defuse, no problem at all. There wasn't a turbot man in sight. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Critty wasn't around. Oh, the nade, what was that? Oh, okay, they did respawn here. Okay, that makes sense. It makes sense now. I didn't actually see the flag get grabbed. Plant has gone down in that bit area. I thought he'd save the flag, but that isn't the case. Swanee is going to get that plant down, and uh, they are going to get in the open in two minutes. And they are going to get their hands on a suit, but I think they're going to make the access on the crossroads. Indeed, they are. They're going to get shot. Laz, kind of taken by surprise, does get the rifle off. Doesn't get taken down. Nades are going to come out from him. Nice nice nades from the Axis. They are going to get a couple of... One, well, one frag and a bit of damage. As we have Vieri here. He's going to get off a bit of damage. Not going to be able to pick up any kills. Truck Escort is in progress. Holdenstein trying to scope out potential people in the middle tower. Didn't notice anybody just standing around. Spam is down on that crossroads as well. Let's pick up Bugs. Vital position here at CP. He isn't playing against the wall like we saw earlier on. Saw some really nice defense at CP initially from Insane and an Outlaw. Big strike up. I think that's a mistake. He's going to get a lot of damage off. And I think there was a lot of damage put towards Lightness, who went for the revive, who didn't get it. He got nade boosted across. It might have been a rifle grenade from, from Tony, but they have got full control at CP now. Four players for the Turbot team in position. And here comes Olden, the Kovi. Uh, Vieri's trying to put on some pressure. He has managed to take down Tony, but the build should come in. Swanidius is in position to get that build in. No problem at all. JRK and I think one more supporting player. He's not going to be able to slow this down too much. There's not going to be too much charge though on the Allied team. As we do have to see uh, Tony, he might get uh, this East plant down. He's just trying to go for them spawn kills. We're going to see the dynamite get dropped. And he's going to go for the plant. No resistance. Maybe a main plant coming down very soon. Laz is in position. This is the easy, the easy shot position. But it doesn't look like there's... Oh, he thinks there's a main plant. Is there a main plant? There isn't a main plant. He nearly, he nearly, uh, what did he do there? I don't even know what happened. Was he trying to arm the allied dynamite? It did seem like that. East mines are being put down. No allies around. So allowed the Axis to set up quite heavily towards that cave site. Now I'm going to see Swan Idiots push down the cave. I'm going to pick him up. He has actually already been dropped. Bugs already retaken CP. Have they retaken CP? How have they managed to do this? They they haven't. What, what, why is Bugs here? How is this even possible? I think maybe they assumed there was a spawn strike, so they all spawned back at the, the flag. So, interesting decision from Turbo. 
It seems to have paid off. They haven't been killed out on that spawn. Plant is going down on main. And it's going to be Swan Idiots to get that plant down. I don't think Swanny normally plays Engineer. Truck is already pushed up. This can be detrimental. Especially as you see Laz moving in for that defuse. There is a medic support as well. And it might be Laz to get this, this defuse in. Tony's rifle needs to come across. It's going to be the Panzer of Olden San. Olden's like, not, not this time, Critty. Move over, son. I'm going to pick this up. And he gets that easy too, man. No rocks no rocks to block you. As Laz actually, actually went across and he's going to be full. He went for the defuse. That was... It must have been really close. It would have been a great defuse, but he's out on full and he's the rifle. And that's really key on this stage. There's a truck's already in position to move through main. Nade over the top. Double frag comes out. It's going to be Tomb and Swanidis to both pick up a frag. It was actually Leku taken down by a teammate. Push coming in this east side. Swanidis is going to break through and maybe push up top. He might be up top already. Panzer's going to go into main. Another one is. Swanidis up top. They can get that truck into position. Where is he? He's going to get that building. Rifle maybe going to come up back. Construction completed. He isn't going to be able to stay alive though, surely. They're going to plant this up top. And Laz is going to go up top to plant, unless there is already another engineer in position. I don't think there is. He's going to have to plant this. They're not planting. Truck is in position. Risky. Going to wait for that Covey. They've got an MG on West. This is just... The, this is amazing. I don't even know what's going on. Leku's going to get dropped. Pick back up. He has got Tomb for support. There is actually Raspberry. Get those Gibbs in. You need to give that Covey. Hans has come out from somewhere. I don't even know what's going on. Hold on, Sam. So hard to, so hard to follow. JRK's going to get that double frag at the top of the stairs. They only need to press the button. They still haven't planted it. They still haven't planted it. Four players pushing up. Tony's going to need to charge. I'm going to stick with Raspberry. Here's the important medic. He is grouping heavily with his engineer. He needs to have that needle out just to pick him up straight away. He's just going to run in, press the button. Nice work from Raspberry. And Panzer's going to come in just a little bit too late. The goal is going to be in the back of the truck. Just over eight minutes remain for the LI team. But they're on course to set a, a fairly decent time. That first stage was actually pretty decent from, from Rapaza. Awful rifle comes out from Laz. Midair tries it, but he is going to be able to shut down Tomb with the K43. Truck is, uh, is not moving. Four players coming out back. There is a Panzer in the hands of somebody. Mine's going to get one kill. Nice work uh, with the mines from Tony. There aren't too many mines in position on this back area. Very, very weak west defense. Only Wilco inside and, and bugs on the outside of west. Naku has found a mine. Yeah, it's about the grenades. Grenade to the face. JRK takes him down. Make that two kills. Landmine frag comes in as well. And I think Oldenstein's waiting for the mine plants. He is nicely played by Oldenstein. I think that's JRK out for full as well. He is going to clear one of the mines. He's going to get taken down. He finds another one. He's cleared the mines on east. And he has managed to get one out for full. Nice work. Now we do have bugs here on west. He is going to get dropped. Leku double frag pushing towards this west side and I don't think Wilco realises they're going to be on the truck very soon. He is indeed going to get shut down from east. They went through the spawn and came from west as well. Nice work. Tony is going to be able to shut him down. Just under half the time on the map remaining. And the truck is rolling around the back of east. If this gets round to the front of east it's going to be very hard to stop this. And it'll be a sub 10 minute time. A really fast time. Raspberry doing the, the smart job. De de definitely Kapot needs to take some driving lessons from from Raspberry, Kapot was standing up in the back of the truck. I was just like, wow, well, that's what, one way to do it. That's one way to do it. You need to be careful that there is a strike. He will get crushed as well. The, the plant is, uh, sorry, the plant. The, the strike is going to blow, but he kill, decides to kill himself out. And they will try and escort this truck now. Need to just focus on it. Strike has come out from Swan Idiots. He isn't going to be able to pick up any frags. There's JRK. Nice work from Tony. He didn't even look. It's just like, yeah, there's one main. I know there's going to be one main. Double frag for Tony. Nearly a triple. I think that's lightness with the triple. There's okay, going to be the truck being escorted just under nine minutes for allies. That's pretty nice. On my way. That first stage, it looked pretty decent for Rapaz. I thought we maybe had a, a bit of a battle on our hands. And they are indeed leaving the way in the frags. Did they have higher damage? They did, they did. Have more frags, more damage. So not too bad. Not too bad for Rapaza. Just under 9 minutes though. Not great. Looking at the frags though. 19 frags coming out for JRK. We also had 
Um, we also had Wilco with 16. I thought Bugs did a pretty did a decent job off the start, but just timing his artilleries. But after the strikes came out, it was a bit, bit, bit weird on the turbo attack. They decided all to spawn a flag when they had CP. Uh, they must have known that the, COVID, uh, the field up was moving in for the strike, so that was probably a decent call. Looking across to the Allied team, though, we have Turbo Tony, of course, 19 frags, 2.8k damage, 10 Gibbs as well. I like that, 10 Gibbs. It really is going to come down to how well these guys work together. But as we saw on their own defense, it was pretty solid. The Lightness has used the Fake Nick KK now. So let's see what they can do on their own attack. Lightness is going to be the, the spearhead. Getting some shots off towards middle. He is going to get shut down by Elden San, who went quite aggressive by himself. And we have seen Turbo be a very defensive team on this first stage. Sometimes just standing in the, in the stairwells, which is not very good. Nades getting spammed down. Aren't going to be able to take down one player. And Leku on middle does get dropped. Raspberry in interesting position. Get absolutely nailed in that corner. He can't move once you start getting shot. He's going to be able to move back. Laz is going to be pushing forward. Laz actually drops down. And maybe they're going to have taken over this lower area. I don't think they realise he's here. Nades onto middle. Nice work. I've actually taken over this lower area. Raspberry does get that double kill on, on the uh, rifle stairs. But the plant is going to go down. JRK is going to get that plant down. He was the last one alive as well. So they are pushing down for this defuse. And so he is going to, actually going to get killed, and that's going to slow him down, even by just a, a couple of seconds. Lots of allied players in position. They're going to have the Panzer, surely. They're going to have a Panzer. Where's Where's uh, Where's Swanee? Where's Tony? Swanee just needs to show himself. They need to force a force a rifle shot or something. Oh no! Oh no! Is it going to work? I don't think they have enough time. The answer is no. So seven and a half minutes, we have a game on Ripaza pushing over the top as well. There's no CP defense set up by the Axis team. They could shut this push across the top completely down. Nice work from Tomb. It's going to be able to pick up one frag. The crossfire is brutal. Tomb, aka Critty, picks up a big triple frag. I did hear that he, he's only played ET recently, like in like years, for just a couple of hours. So he, he's been doing a pretty decent job. Whether he's playing other games as well, I don't know. That's that's totally different. We'll pick him up. That was an important, really important triple frag. If all, if all the frags happen at the same time, it is very hard to get those revives in. But they should have timed it better. They were trying to take them by surprise, I guess. Getting a bit, getting a bit excited. Nice double grenade comes out from Tony. Trucks pushed hella up as well. They don't want to be, don't want to be too careful with that. Pick up Swanee, CP, build up. He wants that medic support. He's like, please. I'm not going to do another Swanee impression. You, you know what he's saying. There'll be a bit of a push coming towards main now. As Raspberry has had to focus his attention towards that main area. Wilco is going to get drop shot in the back. JRK waiting for support for his teammates. Laz is just going to go straight down. Maybe going to get that plot in. JRK is going to drop the dynamite. But there is someone in the cave. Who's that? It is Tony. And the nice grenades from Laz. It is going to be able to it'd be an easy plant for, for Ripaza. And that was kind of kind of a scratch your head situation. I'm not sure how that happened. Because they ha still have players in position at CP. Will they go for this defuse? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's only Tony who's the engineer. Nice, nice uh, artillery by the allied team is going to cover it completely. And Tony actually takes down his teammate and I'm not sure if he's going to go for this. Five seconds. He's going to go for it. He's going to get killed by this. I'm not sure. I don't think he's full. No, he's not, but Tomb is. And so will Olden Sam be. What are they playing at? This is, this is three full? Four full? What's going on for Turbo? They're going to have to go up top. Tony doesn't want to. He wants to stay out aggressive. I'm pretty sure it's 3 or 4 4 at this, at this moment. Leku's down. I think it's just Swanee and Tony left. They got lucky. They got lucky. It's as if the Rapaza team didn't even realize. Fresh is going to come in main now. Tony nearly, nearly whiffing those rifle shots. 
He's gonna get one down. And he's gonna come out around from behind on lightness. Cheeky play. Gonna stick with Tony for the moment. Respawn rifle grenade. Nice work from Tony. Nice grenades. Does actually connect as well. I did get subscribed. Thank you very much. I'll check that out in a second. So we're gonna have Laz attacking through the main gate. He does manage to take down one. The truck is in a nice position. As you see, Leku has to go up top on that west side of the wall to be able to get a decent angle to shoot towards main. Nice artillery. They're going to push over it. Nades are in position. Nice rifle comes out from Tony. The artillery is going to be brutal now as it is going to pick up a frag. One player pushing in through west. It is going to be... Oh, nice double headshot there. There's a bit of lag on lightness, but he did get that double headshot. Truck is moving. Not sure if it's... Uh, in position, it is not. There was still someone play, someone on that west side of the map. Just under four minutes remain. Turbot seem a little bit more steady. I don't know, just trying to throw it away a little bit. We did see Swan Idiot's joke about um, throwing the game for e-monies on Games TV. I'm pretty sure he was joking. Nice work from Olden San. Can be a really nice position if you can time it well. Just gonna switch up a little bit. He's kicking he nailed here. He needs to be careful. <laughs> there we go, Insta Gibbs. He's only out for 10 seconds, not too much of a big, big deal. Push coming in through main. The pads are gonna be able to push through. Two in position. He's gonna just hold it off. Needs to back up though. Nice artillery goes down as well. I like the arties. I always like arties. Especially on short times. You're, you're basically forcing the, the attackers to make a decision. Do you want to push through it? You're going to hold back. Big triple frag comes out from Oldenstein. He's going to get in the revive as well. Double frag from Swanee on that east side of the map as well. Swanee seems to be playing SMG Engineer. I think that would normally go towards Voki. Knife was whipped out. Push coming in through main. Bam! Nearly, nearly could have been a big team kill. Rapaza. Not looking too bad, I've got gonna be honest. I'm not I'm not seeing too bad from these guys. It's just they didn't give themselves enough time on their own defense. It was what? A, less than a nine minute defense. Push coming in through east. Oh, Laz, unfortunately, I think he I'm not sure how he bounced that off uh, the wall and managed to hit himself in the face with the, his own rifle. Let's pick up someone new. Who have we seen? Let's watch Vieri. Let's start pushing through main. I spot a couple of players. Does manage to take down one. Instantly taken down by Tony though. Double threat comes out for Tony as you do see JRK pushing through main. And the crossfire on main has been pretty brutal. With the with the spam in there as well from from Tony and I I'm not sure who the build up is. Pushing he's pushing over west now. Is it, is it uh Leku? I don't think it is. Time's running out. Pretty sure they're out of time already. Decent showing on their own attack though. Like I said, if they would have given themselves a bit more time. So let's say they had another two and a half minutes right now. Would have been nice. I will be honest. Turbot were giving them a bit of a helping hand. Three out for full. I mean, they didn't take it too much of an advantage of that, but... I thought, I didn't know what they were doing. Nice shooting from Tomb. Pretty with all the headshots. So last minute, I'm going to pad the stats a little bit. Maybe a strike on the spawn from Oldensan. He is going to be able to pick up one and obliterate himself. I think they saw the smoke and backed off. Has a, are going to have to take it to their own map. They're going to have to do something nice on their own map, basically. And I, I don't think you can easily fix what their issue is at the moment. I don't think individually they're playing too badly. They're hitting some shots. Sink the sink of their attacks and team players and top, top notch. Turbot, uh, Right. No, wait, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not gonna give you that one. 48 frags for, for Tony. Oof, Tony. Tony is a monster. 
6.6k damage across to the other team 5.1k for jrk who picked up 30 frags as well i mean it was fairly one-sided but at the same time it wasn't that bad considering turbo on their own attack really only got stopped off on the first stage there's a two to zero lead for turbots they are going to be attacking again Don't let them steal the tank. Just, it seems to have someone lagging out in the spawn All right, there's a second lightness big push towards main looping grenades but they are going to just push on through and they're going to instantly get the tank oh my god oh my god was that just five engines what did I just see? What did I just see? I, I, oh, I had to let it play out. That was beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god. Oh man. What? So Turbo going to try and get a bit of control here at the barrier. That nice give comes out from Tony. He is going to be able to take down Lazar. That's an engineer as well. So no easy build on this barrier. Are they even getting charged into it? They are getting a bit. Can't see the engineer anywhere. JRK. And it is actually going to be Olden picking up the CP. Nice work from Olden, Sam. They didn't tap CP. They haven't managed to build barrier. Things are falling apart for the uh, Axis team here. JRK is going to go aggressive. He just wants to put his charge into this barrier. Maybe get themselves a stage here. Nice work from Ripaza. Pretty poor from Turbot though. They weren't even on to the potential. Maybe going to plant that CP. So we're going to see Lightness coming in from behind. I think Leku was delaying his push on the spawn a little bit. Olden Sand doing the old wanted shooting around corners. Swanee gets two frags on the spawn. And this could be a third out. Bugs actually gets the frag in. They needed to keep him alive. I think I do hear some revives coming in as well. So maybe a barrier stage here. They need to just hold off that plant, retake CP, get the plant down. Just steady themselves. You can get teams that get a bit shaky. I think the, the tank is damaged, but um, I'm not going to build it up just yet. Nice artillery down on the barrier. Olden Sand is going to be very short for this world, I believe. He hasn't got any medic support either. He needs to be careful. Full spawn will come in. He is indeed out for 10, 12 seconds. Let's pick up Laz. Rifle. He's going to be able to take one down. Not going to be able to whip his rifle out in time. Leku gets that double frag and he has cleaned out the stage for his, his team. As you are going to see Tony use his charge. No rifles for him for a little bit. And the plant has gone down on the barrier. Tank is going to be, be built back up again by Olden Sand. Pans on the respawn again. Nearly from Swanadius. Nearly the mid-air shot. He is uh, going to get shut down mid-air himself which cannot this long long side lightness hitting shots where there's no one even existing <laughs> lag and et always makes me laugh when you watch someone he's gonna be able to get that frag though nearly gets the damage on towards the uh, tank it was a nice idea barrier has been destroyed by the axis he's gonna go for that cp destruction i like the idea destroy the cp while they're a bit focused on the tank. Can work. Don't know if they've got anyone position. They did in indeed destroy that CP. Nice, uh, nice work from Olden Sand. Gets a kill and a give, but he's going to instantly build it up. Nice work indeed. He's not going to be stopped. Tank's going to roll on. It's going to be in position very soon. Another Panzer on the spawn. It is going to be uh, Swanee to take down Lightness for full spawn. Rifle towards the spawn. Nearly very and count his fortunes as he does push underneath the bridge kind of takes tony by surprise but tony is going to come out the victor there revive underneath the bridge as well towards his first arch is going to just overwhelm jrk i think he was taken a little bit by surprise turbo all over the place where's the defense no no bank defense at all no sneaky sneaky tomb is going to be able to pick up that objective he's just going to roll out the front of the bank here he's actually going to turn his attention towards third you are going to see frags exchange as bugs picks up a double kill he is going to get taken down but tomb will be giving his way his position somehow wilco gets that double frag raspberry trying to flank him from behind i'm going to pick up the objective holder let's see where he's going is he going through the spawn no he's still at third he's going to get shut down nice triple kill and the save from wilco 
Strike on the respawn from Olden Sand. It will stop the push coming out first. Panzer towards the second, and it is going to be able to pick up a big triple frag. The two frags do come in in reply, but it is only three players alive. Raspberry's just going to stream across the top. He has to take down this first arch player. He does. Raspberry pushes past the, the airstrike, and more frags come in at second. Turbo will get a double frag from Leku, and the gold is going to be in the back of the truck. And that is almost gonna, definitely going to be decent a, a, a GG time. As you are going to see, probably around six minutes. It's going to roll on past the barrier. There are going to be another Panzer and strikes on the spawn. There's Panzer again from Swanee. He does pick up two. Bugs is going to try and slow this down. He's going to be killed eventually, surely. Where's the where's the turbo? Where's the turbo crossfire on that first arch? As you are going to see, Bugs get the strike down on the respawn. Or not? I don't know how that aborted. I bought it by hitting the lighthouse, I guess. Somewhere up here. Where's the truck? It's long gone. Swanee just playing Panzer 24-7 on this backstage. The truck is almost going to be almost there. Raspberry doing a great job with that escort. Get the gold in the back of the truck. Escort all the way, no problem at all. And he's going to get crushed as well. Let's look at the frags. 13 frags coming out for bugs. 2k damage as well. The rest of his team struggling a little bit. Wilco did get a nice triple frag to secure the objective, but that only slowed Turbot down a little bit. Looking at Turbot, we do have Swanee and Raspberry both picking up 12 frags apiece. Swanee picked up at least, at least 6 or 7 Panzer frags in that. 2k damage going the way of Leku. So 5 minutes, 45 set. Yes. And we're going to see Swanee just play Panzer. Of course. Of course. Is he going to meet them on side? Oh, the grouping here is huge. This could be massive for Swanee if he gets here in time. He's not. He's not. Oh, he nearly, he nearly got two. He nearly got those two. They weren't expecting it. But they could have thrown it a little bit. Mines will have to do the work. There's no NGs from what I can see. JRK has managed to make it into corner. And they have got the MG. They are kind of ruffling at the moment, thinking it's all already done. Oh, that was a really nice shot from Leku. All I saw was headshots there. Say goodbye to your face. Leku on this side area is going to get shut down. Push coming towards it. Pazza. Maybe going to put it on a bit of pressure here. Three players in position. Lightning slagging around, I think. Team with a double frag on sides. Revival come in. Laz gets that rifle grenade off. Nice reply from Tony. Lightness with the double frag. That's the thing with laggers. They just get instant frags. It's like coming up against a shotgun. Surprise, Molinator. Way a donation. Thank you very much. I'll check that afterwards. As we do see the, the hold on this first stage. Looks pretty solid. Turbo are kind of messing about a little bit. And by Turbo, I just mean whoever is playing. It's got to be Swanee. Oh, he's playing Panzer now. Okay, I'll let him off. Whoever was the MG, I'm pretty sure it was Swanee still. Push coming up back. Don't know how Swanee's still alive. He is going to get dropped. A couple of frags going Rapaz's way. 10 seconds spawn. Need to be careful. And four frags actually coming in for Rapaz. Five are the revives coming in for Turbo. I think it's just Raspberry to hold it on. Push coming in through main. And he is going to get gibbed as well. Nice work from Tony. The landmine did the work, but he, get, he got the gib. Bugs trying to get in towards that side area. I did shut down one. Trying to get some, some shots onto the person behind the, the, uh, the crate. So that, wouldn't, that wouldn't have done anything. It's hiding. I don't want to... What is Swanee doing there? Exchange of rifles. Tony and Lance take each other down. It's going to be pretty, uh, a pretty dull affair now for the rest of the first stage. You see people just playing for frags a little bit, obviously. They were already. Look at, look at Swanee coming in from side. Gets taken down. JRK gets a double frag. We've seen some nice frags coming out from JRK. They are going to get their hands on the tank. I don't think they have a chance from here, though. They have to instantly get everything. And I think even then, there isn't much chance.
Well, Curry's gonna be able to shut down, so Swanny actually vaporized himself. I caught that one, Swanny. Have fun with that. Good job, Swanidius. Yes. Respawners are gonna come in. There was a sneaky guy at second arch. I think he's in the bushes. Sticking with Raspberry here. Three players underneath the bridge. They are gonna start pushing across as well. And someone is playing uh, the MG42. That gun in ICW in single player was so good and so fun. It never, it never got released into ICW multiplayer. Everyone would have been on it. It was too powerful, I think. Echo in an interesting position. He's going to get a lot of shots in the back. Heard some footsteps to his right. I think someone's pushing on towards the gold. Or maybe it was above him. Maybe it was Lightness being a bit delayed. Lightness pushing up. Scoping out the potential prone lane spot. Does manage to take one down. Lay down towards the spawn. Rifle grenade. Dives on his own grenade again. That's ha having a bit of a tough time of it. Nice headshot out from Lightness, but he's going to get shut down. Just over a minute remains, and it is almost, it is almost definite. It, I would say it is definite. So are going to be the victors. They're going to move on to the next round of the lower bracket. I'm not sure who they're going to play. It's going to be the end of Rapaz's tournament. I think they come in joint seventh place or joint joint something. I think it's seventh. Double RT frag from Bugs on first arch. He's going to get that third frag with the Thompson towards second as well. Let's double just shut them down. So we'll move on to the next round of the lower bracket. Obviously, one more loss and they're out. We did see... <laughs> Not this time, Tony. We did see, um, I can't remember who it was. Oxid dropped down to the lower bracket. So they might have to play Team Oxids. That'd be pretty difficult. They either have to play Team Oxid or the loser of Naughty against Ion. Which indeed will be very difficult. So that is the end of the game. Turbo are going to win 4-0. to zero. Let's look at the stats. Not going to tell too much of a story. So we have 24 frags going in the way of Bucks. 21 frags to Wilco. Across to the other team we have Leku with 20. 4.3k damage for him. 4.1k uh, 4, 4 damage for Bugs for the Rapaza team. But I mean, I think they were just kind of outmatched a little bit. Just a little bit.